Hey you guys, so today I wanted to do kind of a fun and colorful look for you. This look is pretty product heavy, um, it's not using just one particular palette, so just use what you have or change around um, certain colors and stuff like that uh, to fit your liking. Alright, let's jump into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take um, a little liner from ColourPop, it's called Piggy Bank, it looks like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to etch on my outer corner just a V shape. And we're going to want to do this fairly quickly because it does start to set. This step might seem a little unnecessary towards the end, but it just helps to basically um, give the shadows an extra little base to stick to and it helps to really darken that outer crease so that you don't lose any kind of like intensity over there. And I'm just taking a little smudger brush. This is from uh, Zoeva. It's called Detail Shader number 237. And I'm just using that to just kind of quickly blend that out. And then I'm going to be using the color radio... <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to be using the color radioactive from the new Melt Radioactive stack. And I'm going to grab that on my little brush too. And I'm going to tap off the excess. These have a little bit... Um, they're a little bit powdery. So I just tap off the excess to make sure that I don't get it everywhere. And basically I'm going to go over top of that color. And I'm going to bring it onto the lid as well a little bit. About two thirds. Or one third? Yeah, one third. Somebody was asking me earlier on Periscope how I keep a straight line without using tape. Um, and honestly, I just, I've never used tape. I just use really small brushes to the outer corner and I'm just careful with my placement. Um, so if that's something that you struggle with, do try using smaller brushes and see if that kind of helps a little bit. Now that I place my color, I'm going to go ahead and use a little fluffy brush to blend it out. And we want this to be really pigmented so we can pick up a little bit more on the end of our fluffy brush, tap off that excess so it doesn't get powdery. It's really important to tap off that excess product when you're working with neon shadows. They can get quite powdery because neon shadows typically have quite a bit of white pigment in them to make them bright. But that is what makes them chalky and have a lot of follow. And then every once in a while I just take a neutral colored shadow, something like peach smoothie or otherwise, and I just basically go over the very top and edges of that to diffuse the color a little bit more if I need to. So now what I'm doing is taking the color Deep Plum from Anastasia and I'm going to use that on the same little brush that we used for the first few steps. And I'm basically just going to put it down over top of that outer V and having that ColourPop liner as a base will just help it um, stay really intense in that outer corner. Camping is intense. And if you guys notice how I place my brush, I basically place it flat to my eye to apply the product and then I actually just turn it on its side completely perpendicular to my face and I'll use it to blend out just a little bit before I go in with a bigger blender. And the reason that I do that is because it keeps that color placement nice and precise. It doesn't just blend it out all over the place and diffuse the color too quickly. It keeps it intense and dark um, while still blending out that edge a little bit. And then you can go ahead and go in with another brush to just blend over top of that and diffuse it even more. And I'm just going to keep building that color up. I'm going to take a little bit more of that deep plum and I'm going to bring it even further onto my lid. Again, going back in with my little blending brush. Blending brush. Next, I'm going to be using the color Dive Bar from Urban Decay. And I'm going to go ahead and wet a kind of flat brush with Fix Plus. The reason being because if you look closely at the shadow, it does have a little bit of a kind of pinky pearlescent um, shimmer to it, but it only shows up well when the shadow is applied wet. So that is what we're doing. So with uh, the shadow being a little bit wet, I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to my eyeball. And I'm taking it into that inner corner, but I never go too far into the inner corner um, just because I don't like how it looks having a dark inner corner like that. And what I do when I'm using a wet shadow is I'll apply the wet shadow first and then I'll flip over the brush to the dry side. And that's how I'll blend out the edges if I ever have, um, you know, kind of harsh edges from using that wet shadow. The next thing I'm going to do is grab my Makeup Forever Star Powder in... 90943. It's the one that's like pink and iridescent. And I'm going to go over this shadow with that. So I'm just packing that all over top. 
And I just want to add a little bit of texture to my lid so that it shows up kind of like looking cool in photos basically. Um, so I'm going to be using Shell from Dose of Colors, the Ideal Duo, so I'm going to be using the primer and the glitter. So I just take a little bit of that primer on a tiny little brush first and I'm going to apply it right to the center of my lid. And you guys may or may not be able to see, but that actually oxidizes the shadow on my lid. It makes it kind of dark and muddy looking. So I'm going to go over top of it afterwards. I know this seems weird and just like redundant, but it's just to add basically texture and it ends up looking kind of cool, I think. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. So now I'm just pressing that color shell, the pigment, over top of where I put my primer. And then what I'm going to do is take more of that blue color that we used and just basically go over top of the sides with it. And then I'm going to take that Makeup Forever Star Powder one last time and I'm going to go over the entire lid with it. So now on the bottom I'm going to take that deep plum color again and I'm just going to really smoke it out. And then I'm going to take that first hot pink color that we use, Radioactive. And I'm just going to slowly but surely apply that under my eye as well. And once I have that color applied, I can go ahead and take another fluffy brush and just basically blend over it. And then I am going to take that little brush and just any black shadow and I'm just going to add the tiniest little bit to my outer corner and underneath on the outer corner there as well. And then I'm going to go in with just this little brush and just really gently blend that out while still keeping it nice and intense. And then on that inner corner just for funsies I'm going to put a little bit of Lumi, obviously. Just a touch. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes and mascara and I'll show you guys the finished look. So this is the final look. So that is everything you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something cool today. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments below and I will get back to you. Thanks guys. Bye.